Karibu. Thank you very much, <coughs> Patricia, Your Excellency, Madam President. It's great to have you here. Uh, it's a very exciting time indeed, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and I'm very, I'm particularly very happy to be here. Uh, I think what's happening today, we all must understand, is a realization that Africa does indeed have capacity to do its own research, to set its own agenda, and to lead that research. And I think we should be very appreciative of the support that we are receiving from partners such as the Gates Foundation, DFID, the Wellcome Trust here, and uh, the support from uh, the Africa Union. Uh, one of the things that I would like to say is that other than the support that is being brought forward, African innovators themselves have to come out of the woods and take up and join this partnership and really build onto it to address our own health priorities going forward. And this is an important message that we hope all of us and especially the media community in here today can send out to the many African innovators, innovators uh, a section of whom I represent uh, today. The other message that I would like to uh, put across is what African institutions can do to uh, accelerate this process. And, and one of the things you could do is really to just create an enabling environment so that some of these innovators can come forth and have an area where they could uh, implement or test or you know, evaluate their own uh, innovations. There are many, many things that can happen here, and in the words of the president of this country, President Kenyatta, Africa is indeed a hotbed of innovators. Uh, I think that uh, in addition to saying congratulations to, to, to Tom, my, my long-term friend here, uh, a great champion of African science, we must look forward to an era where AESA uh, is going to be indeed uh, you know, the, the new kid in the block. And I, I, th I think that we, AESA deserves all the support that we can give them today, not only financial, but also the uh, material partnership and just being there to do uh, the work. So, Addis just said that yesterday they opened up a new series of calls, uh, and, and, and I think that if you go through the website, you will see that there are opportunities now to take up some of these chances to build innovations. What is key for us, uh, working from Africa, is that we do have important health priorities that have to be addressed if we are going to continue to save lives. In the past 20, 10, 15 years, already 34 million lives have been saved. What is interesting, though, however, is the people who participated in saving these many lives were only partly from this continent, even though most of these lives were saved in this continent. I think here there is an opportunity for children of this continent to participate in the saving of many more lives that need to be saved in the years ahead. A priority health challenges can be addressed. African innovators need to use this partnership, the support that they're getting today, to identify and go after these key challenges and address them going forward. Thank you very much, Patricia. And we will be around to talk to anyone else who would like to have, you know, post a few questions here. One, one last time, congratulations to Tom and to the ISA team. Uh, very well, uh, job very well done. Thank you.